Now, see here this is new concept in rotational motion that is the moment of force or torque. What do you mean by moment of force or torque? Let us see first definition. The moment of force or torque due to a force gives us the turning effect of force about the fixed axis. It is measured by the product of the magnitude of force and perpendicular distance of the line of action of force from the axis of rotation and it is the rotational analog of force is the moment of force. So, see here what do you mean by moment of force just to have seen the definition. Now, let us discuss what is this actually torque and how does it act. Simple example you can take of the door. If you have seen the door and you just take this example and try to understand suppose you are taking door in this way and one end of the door that is one side of the door is fixed. When you apply force somewhere here at the outer edge door rotates about this axis. But when you apply force at this point here where it is hinged then you cannot open the door and the door does not rotate. So, why does door rotate when the force is applied at outer edge? So, it means there is not only force because we are applying force at this point also at the hinges then the door does not open it does not rotate and when we apply the force perpendicular at the outer edge door rotates. It means something is else beyond the force which is rotating the door. So, the quantity actually which is giving us the turning effect of this door is known as torque. Let us understand by taking the example here again. Suppose you have taken three axes this is suppose here x, y just I take x over here and this is the y and this is here the z. Suppose a point p is lying over here this is a origin with respect to origin the position vector of this is r. You are applying force somewhere here this is f this f is making an angle theta with this position vector you produce this line this is called line of action this is called line of action. When you apply force at p this will rotate like this in this path. So, it is rotating about the point o it means the o is considered as the axis of rotation. If you draw perpendicular from here that is n so o n is perpendicular so, O n is known as perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation that means origin over here and the line of action. So, this is also theta. So, see here the torque is defined as torque is equal to R sin that is O n into f that is R sin theta into f and that in vector form torque can be written r cross f. So, the torque is defined as the cross product of the position vector and the force acting on the particle this is the position vector with respect to origin and the direction of torque is perpendicular to the plane containing r and f and th this direction can be given by right handed screw rule. Already we have discussed in many cases to define this direction. So, now we can write here we can discuss here this r and f just we have calculated torque is equal to r cross f we can write torque is equal to r f sin theta if you are taking theta is equal to 0 or 180 degree in both the cases torque you will be getting here 0. If the force is acting parallel to the position vector or anti parallel to the position vector then the torque is 0 that means rotational effect is not there and you cannot produce rotation a rotational motion. Now, if you are taking theta is equal to 90 degree. So, you can write torque is equal to r f because sin 90 is equal to 1. In this case torque is maximum. 
So, when you apply perpendicular force at the outer end of the door, easily you can open the door because the torque produced is maximum in that case. And now see here, torque is a vector quantity, torque may be clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise rotation or direction. So, conventionally we take anti-clockwise uh, rotation that is a positive torque and in the clockwise rotation, in that case torque is taken as negative torque is a vector quantity, its unit will be here Newton meter in that case, but your dimensional formula you will be getting m l raise to power 2 t raise to power minus 2, which is similar to work already we have done in the first chapter only, but see here work is a scalar quantity, but torque is a vector quantity here. So, this is the difference between the work and the uh, torque. So, this is about the concept of the torque. We have now just done the torque acting on the body and the body was lying in the x y plane and the torque was acting along the z axis perpendicular to the plane of x and y and uh, torque along x and y axis was 0. But here if you apply the force and the body is rotating in three dimension there is it means the torque is along x axis and y axis also. Then we can get the components of torque along x and y axis. Let us see example torque is equal to r cross f. In three dimension we can write torque uh, tau x i plus tau y j plus tau z k cap is equal to r can be written x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap cross f x i cap plus f y j cap plus f z k cap. If you do the cross product you will be getting this i y f z minus z f y plus j cap z f x minus x f z plus k cap x f y minus y f x. And then we can write here the torque x that is along x axis, this is the component i cap that is this one. Torque along y axis we can get z f x minus x f z and torque along z axis is x f y minus y f x. So, just by using the cross product rule which we have already done how to you know take this cross product of the two vectors in Cartesian coordinates or in three dimension we have done. So, by using this cross product concept we can get the components of the torque along the different axes.